Okay, and we're back. I had to pop his head back into the little socket there. But yeah, so you just go ahead and flip it around. It doesn't take much to pop these off sometimes. It's the first time that's happened to me though with the head on this one. Um, and again, just put the cannons in his arms here. Just like we did with Starscream, and we'll grab his little fists, and you just slide those over on his arm, and there's that one, we'll put his wing back on here. So there's Thrust. And let's bring in Megatron now. <clears throat> this is probably my favorite one here just because I like Megatron. I always like the G1 toy. And it pretty much transforms the same as the G1 toy again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take his little arm cannon off here. And it's pretty detailed actually for what it is. I like the little Decepticon symbol and the little uh, like knurling or line work there that they got like the original. That's not a sticker. That's actually like uh, painted on there it looks like. But anyways, yeah, so let's go ahead and just transform them. Uh, we start by, let's see, I think the best way to do this guy was just to do the legs. Yeah, you just pop these apart and then swing them forward. Like that. And they do extend down. Let's see, man, I should do it from this side, yeah. There, and you can see the little joint in there where it slides. It's actually fairly stiff for being such a small guy, especially this one. Try not to break it, but there we go. So again, just swing those forward, and the little feet, you just kind of slide them out and forward so that they pop down like so so you can see the feet and legs there you can kind of see that and then just pull the head down or the arms here or what's going to become his arms and actually we can separate these Let's see, is it this side? Yeah. Let's rotate that out of the way and just pull these apart here. This is probably the one you'd have to worry the most about breaking because he's got these little skinny, slim uh, posts here that the arms attach to. So yeah, you, you could see where these would just break right in here maybe. And then just rotate the gun barrel around, pop this down and back, and then just slide. Actually, the hands here do come out. They don't, no, they do separate. And separate there. And then, like I was saying, you can flip the hands out. There should be a little peg in here or something. Let's see. Uh, there you go and then just slide it out. Uh, let's see. It's kind of a jumbled mess right now, but yeah. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's get this out of the way. Slide that up and over. And then the barrel comes forward like the old school Megatron. And that comes forward. There we go. And let's get his hand out here and hopefully, there we go. Now, let's see. Er. Okay, there we go. That's pretty much Megatron there. Um, yeah. It's not cooperating with me tonight, but Normally he's not this hard to transform.
But yeah, that's pretty much Megatron there, and you could just put his little cannon on his arm. Um, he will stand. Sometimes you got to be a little tricky with them. But let's see, his arm here keeps catching on that side of that barrel. It's not lining up right. Let's see back here. Kind of. There we go. I'll just set it up there like that. But yeah, there's Megatron. So he does kind of get a little top heavy and want to lean forward with that cannon on his arm, but yeah, he does stand there. So let's pan out here a little bit and let's zoom in actually. Take a little close up look at the robot modes. There's Starscream, there's Optimus, Soundwave's kind of hidden back there, Thrust. And my favorite, Megatron. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and show you what the packaging looked like that these actually came in originally. Uh, they just came in these little small boxes here. Um, obviously you could tell they're from Japan. And let me get this adjusted here. There we go. Basically, if you look at the sides here, you can see some of the other figures they have, like Bumblebee, their Soundwave. Um, just some stuff here on the back. Here's some other ones that they had in the collection. Um, and each one comes in a little thing here, a little plastic container. And each one had a little instruction booklet to transform them with some artwork on it, which is kind of cool. Looks like kind of like the old school uh, G1 artwork. It's got a little uh, Japanese uh, kanji and hiragana and stuff on it. And there you go. You can actually see the, the transformation uh, information on there. So that's kind of cool. And each one, you know, came packaged with one of these. Um, with the, like, art, kind of like the cover art for the, the, the box. But, yeah. So that was Soundwave's box, obviously, there. <clears throat> And they had different series of these too. This is, uh, I think one of these was the one that Megatron came in. I think it might have been this one here. Uh, let me see. Yeah, there's the packaging for Megatron. So these, I would say hold on to these boxes because they make good storage for these guys since they're so small and they do have small accessories and things that you could easily lose. Um, there's Megatron's with his transformation showing the steps and everything. <clears throat> Let's have some other uh, bonus stuff here that they were trying to hawk to you. But yeah. And you can see they had some different box artwork too with these. This one obviously had Megatron on the front. I think this was Series 2. So you can see they had Prowl, Red Alert, Thrust, uh, Megatron, Jazz, Optimus. And this one, other one here is a special edition, I guess. But... Um, they had pretty much the same ones that were on that other box that I showed at the beginning. They did have a hot rod. Um, the thing was with these is they were kind of like a grab bag thing. They came packaged in these boxes, but you didn't know which one you were going to get until you opened it. Uh, at least that's what I was told. Um, so, you know, you could end up with duplicate figures. And each, each one of these apparently had a secret figure. Um, I think on the first series, the, the secret figure was basically uh, Skywarp. So you can find a world's smallest Skywarp out there. Uh, I'm not sure what the other figures were. There's also a lot of knockoffs of these figures online. Uh, you can get like a clear uh, Optimus with like the clear trailer and all that type of stuff. So yeah, there's a lot of knockoffs of these floating around too. But the original Takara ones are probably the best ones. So anyways, that's basically the world's smallest Transformers. Um, I would say if you wanted these, go out and get them. They're kind of cool, uh, especially if you have the actual G1 uh, characters. You can kind of put these next to it and maybe hold them in their hand or something like that. So it just looks kind of neat to have sitting on your shelf. But anyways, that's uh, the world's smallest Transformers.